For Filipino and other products from Asia as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver. Philippine News Canada is brought to you by Rayford Media Group. Bayan, narito na ang tinalawag at pinalakas na coverage ng Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver Nationwide. Mga pangunahing balitang nakalap na aming news team para sa linggong ito. Mula dito sa Surrey, ako po si Rosette Correa at ito ang Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver. Warmest welcome to you. I'm honored by your presence. Thank you for taking the time to come here. Let me introduce myself. I'm Iris, and my mess is my message. I share insights about what I've learned in my journey of clearing up the mess that plagued my life before, a life that was far from meaningful and purposeful, very far from having harmony in it. And because my mess is my message, meaningful living, which is living a life with purpose, harmony, and abundance, really inspires me. In my various platforms, you'll find me talking about these things, talking about having harmony and the four key aspects of life. The physical, which includes health and wealth. The emotional, which includes thriving in relationships and emotional well-being. The mental, which includes mental growth and having that optimal mindset that will serve you best. And the spiritual aspect, anchored on universal truths, regardless of your religion or faith. Magandang araw mga kabayan! Kasama natin ngayon sa ating one-on-one, si Iris Radev. Uh, she's a doctor here in Vancouver and we'd like to talk to her and know a little bit more about her projects for the Filipino uh, community and the community um, outside of it as well. Hello, um, Iris, how are you? Mabuti naman, Rosette. Maraming salamat sa pag -imbita. Well, thank you so much din sa, ano, uh, sa pagpaunlak mo sa amin. And um, we just wanted to um, we just wanted to introduce you and your work on mindfulness with our televiewers. So let us tell us a little bit more about yourself um, and how you got into um, medicine and, and your journey here in, in Vancouver. Yeah, so it's a tale very uh, familiar to most immigrants. It's a tale of just really wanting to go abroad, you know, make a... Uh, siguro parang new beginnings na rin, siguro yung nangarap magkaroon ng mas magandang buhay and yeah, gan ganun lang din siya it's pretty much struggle sa simula, which is I, I believe quite familiar to a lot of yung mga kababayan natin narinig natin yung mga inspiring stories ng mga kababayan, so mm -hmm. it's, it's similar to that, maraming struggles I've always wanted to be uh, a doctor simula nung bata pa ako. Although, hindi ko naintindihan yung uh, role that it would play in my life in mm -hmm. the eventual unfolding talaga nung purpose ko. Yeah. So, it did play a big role. It was a stepping stone for mm -hmm. me to really find my calling. So, the pathway ng medicine as a healer mm -hmm. led me to uh, wanting to to um, help people heal, but in a more holistic way. Mm -hmm. And so, ito yung ginagawa ko sa platform ko. It's a more holistic way of not only healing, but really thriving. Pag mm -hmm. sinabi naman kasi health, good health, it's not just the absence of disease, but it's actually thriving. So, dun yung pathway na pinatutunguhan ko ngayon is helping people to thrive mm -hmm. para sila ay, uh, they're living the, the best, uh, most optimal life for them. That's excellent. And um, you, you, you said that there's a connection between your career as a medical doctor 
and uh, the mindfulness project that you have. So um, did it start in the Philippines pa when, when you were practicing medicine in the Philippines pa? Or did it just, you know, all of a sudden, you know, enlighten you when you came to Vancouver? I would say na ano siya, proseso ng journey as an immigrant. Yung pinagdaana, not only the journey as an immigrant, but also yung development uh, as a person, being a mother, mm-hmm. eventually juggling many roles. And so yeah. dito pumasok yung, uh, syempre kapag we're starting to wear many hats, napakarami mm-hmm. ng mga, what I would call everyday stressors as normally um, people exist. And doon yung pumasok yung katanungang, is there a better way? It led me to the pathway of mindfulness eventually, hindi siya mm-hmm. overnight, it had a while to hear inclined to look at the evidence being a doctor. So sa field ko kasi I, I really like looking at uh, studies, things that are based on um, rigorous na mga pag-aaral and then finally I found this way that's been proven in research to really change yung not only yung results but but actually yung workings ng inner brain, yung brain natin. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that was so fascinating for me to actually look at the evidence and then witness yung mga applications niya in real life. Mm-hmm. So yun yung nag uh, inspire talaga sa akin na i-pursue ito. So yung um what do you call this project again, uh, Iris? If you're talking about yung uh, aking platform na itinayo, so there yes. are a few things that I'm doing right now, but the main project that I'm doing for the Filipino community uh, worldwide is the Filipino success movement. Mm-hmm. So it's Tell more us like a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's more all-encompassing. Again, I was drawn to the concept of harmony, harmony and thriving. So pag harmony, dun pumasok yung um, aspiration ko about uh, how do you really experience meaningful success in life? And dun nga, it's not just measured by things like the usual metrics, yung mga financial, yung mga ganun, ilang, you know, sasakyan, meron ka, gano'ng karami mong pera, but also how fulfilled are you feeling inside? Mm-hmm. So, dun pumasok yung concepts about emotional well-being, nandun yung mental health, then, of course, big part yung spirituality, right? Connecting with your faith, yung purpose mo, yung sense of contribution. So, dun siya napunta, and this is the message I'm trying to spread right now. It's a more holistic way of experiencing meaningful success in life. So how do you how are you able to engage? Um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of your videos, and a lot of your videos um, are participated in by yung mga ano yung mga kababaihan, and um, and so how do you engage uh, the women to join you in this quest for you know um, for mindfulness, for peacefulness, for calmness in their lives? I think uh, women, you know, in general, really play a pivotal role. Kasi lahat naman ng, uh, as they say nga, di ba, yung basic unit ng society natin starts in the family. Mm-hmm. And syempre sa family, yung pinaka parang mga, you know, ilaw ng tahanan are the yes. mothers. Mm-hmm. And so I think, first of all, they, they identify with me kasi nga syempre parehas babae. Mm-hmm. Ikalawa yung stage of life, yung mga nanay din sila, juggling different roles. Mm-hmm. Yung iba kahit walang work or, you know, they're, they're not, like they're staying at home, but still nakaka-relate sila dun sa mga concepts because it, the platform speaks about yung purpose nga, it speaks about yung uh, hope, optimism, mga ganun. And so I think that, that they can relate to that as they're mm-hmm. uh, navigating din sarili nilang journey. Na minsan ay very, ano din, challenging, di ba? So right. I think na kaka-relate sila dun sa stories ko kasi I really talk about my struggles too mm-hmm. in the platform and how I learned about certain struggles. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So now, during the pandemic, so I, I know in the past, um, you met with them regularly um, is it on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis? And with the pandemic happening, um, what is your mode of um, of meeting with them and uh, connecting with them? So mainly, it started off really as an online platform. Mm-hmm. Prior to the pandemic, I was starting to uh, publish. Hindi naman ganun ka regular. I would just share. Say, for example, if I go to the gym, I'd share snippets of my day there or I would be working out with friends kasi big part yun ang ano, yung harmony, the physical mm-hmm. wellness part. So we started off sa ganong platform. I, ha- I have my group of friends who are on the same pathway na maging healthy and 
yun, nag-publish kami ng mga videos about mm-hmm. working out, uh, healthy living. And initially, wala pa siyang rhyme or reason. Parang kung mm-hmm. kailan lang. <laughs> and then eventually, it evolved. Kasi nga, nagkaroon na siya ng following, viewership. We noticed, you know, dahan-dahan na nag-increase yung engagement ng platform. Nagiging worldwide na siya. Hanggang ngayon, we are in all, all continents na kami except Antarctica. Wala pa kami viewers <laughs> sa Antarctica. But it's be, it's worldwide na siya ngayon. And mm-hmm. yeah, uh, although majority are women, meron din kami mga 20% men oh, okay. viewership. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's reaching also kahit yung mga tatay. Young, even young, young like millennials na lalaki. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so I think that's the power of technology. You're able to reach mm-hmm. all those different mga groups, uh, different geographies, demographics. Mm-hmm. So ganun lang siya na grow. So ngayon na pandemic, so you, you still meet pero you meet online. Do you still do your, um, I, I know right, like right now what I'm doing is I'm also engaging in exercise pero YouTube din, alam mo yun? <laughs> so is, That's meron, great, meron yeah. ba kayong, um, meron ba kayong regular meetings ng ang mga kasama mo, ng mga friends mo um, to continue the work that you're, you're trying to achieve uh, with everybody? Yeah, recently we had, uh, like, we always promote wellness. So I would have the usual videos on as a YouTube. Some of them are actually workout types. Uh, mm-hmm. Yung iba naman is talking about wellness. Recently we had a fitness coach as a guest, nag live workout kami doon. Mm-hmm. And nasa works na rin yung uh, pag workout with, like, live workouts. Mm-hmm. So it's coming up yung, yung, more consistent na live work so people can actually join ang ano lang kasi mahirap i-figure out yung time zone kasi nga yung followers are coming from all over the world minsan right, right. parang is it too late for them right kasi tayo na nasa North America mm-hmm. and karamihan ng followers natin are still from the Philippines yes so yeah. minsan meron yung time difference na yun mm-hmm. uh, like for example ako I normally work out in the morning so gabi na yun mm-hmm. doon maybe not the most ideal so I'm still trying right. to figure out what the best time is yeah Mm-hmm. Para sabay-sabay. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And so, um, so this is your uh, fil- what's this uh, project again that you that you engage um, your friends in? This is the this is the Filipino success Filipino movement. success movement. Uh oh. And then aside from that, also on your um on your website, you have several other uh, projects that are ongoing. So can you tell us a little bit more about those? Yeah, so there, there are also a few. I have two other platforms, channels, catering, catering to a different uh, set of audiences. May mga overlap, pero iba rin. So for example, the one that's under my name, mm-hmm. yung Iris Radev MD, more international siya. So the videos are in English. Mm-hmm. It's still in the process of rolling out. I have a few videos already sa YouTube. Mm-hmm. But yung demographics din na target noon are you, yung mga women din, mm-hmm. mothers din. Um, usually mga women who are juggling different roles, career mm-hmm. women, but also mothers. So yun yung thrust, yun, yun, yun naman yung, ano nung, yung audience na kanyang pinatarget. Then the other mm-hmm. one is the, just the Filipino-Canadian community. So okay. meron ding platform for Filipino-Canadians. So yung Iris, uh, Iris Rod of MD, yun yung um, international platform mo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see. Okay, so that's wonderful. For Filipino and other products from Asia, as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver. Um, you were saying that a number of um, the people that you have with, that you've engaged um, in with your projects are working moms or working dads, you know, or working people. So um, how, how do they respond? How are they able to um, juggle everything um, in their lives, especially that, you know, this time is so different from the way it was before? I think I think the beauty of ano technology technology is the ability to watch things on replay or yung tinatawag nating on demand. So, mm-hmm. ang kagandahan ng mga iba't ibang platforms sa na ginagamit natin, like for example, YouTube, Facebook, even yung mga Instagram, ganyan, TikTok, you can always access the previous recordings or yung mga live and you can consume at your own time or you know, utilize the services, the programs. Uh, so, yun yung kagandahan. So, kahit busy sila, and not only din naman yung mga taong may 
may work yung ating na-engage pero a lot of them also are stay-at-home moms. But regardless, yung ano niya is, yung kagandahan is ma-access nila yun anytime kasi mm-hmm. it's just available online. It, it's living online. Now, your knowledge of technology, is this something that's um, innate for you or pinag-aralan mo din siya or, you know, did, did anybody coach you on that? Is this something that comes up naturally for you? Yeah, wala namang natural, I don't think, Ruslet, <laughs> when it comes to technology. I think, you know, these are things that we really have to to study kasi ano siya, it, it, meron siyang learning curve talaga. Mm-hmm. A lot of these things are not related sa field ko per se, actually none, talagang walang overlap. So I, I had to go and study, I uh, had to go and study about uh, digital marketing, uh, video editing. So naging parang ano ako, all in one, parang kasi one man show ako nag-start eh. I was oh, doing everything oh, oh, oh. myself. Jack of all trades. Yeah, so, yeah, pinag-aralan talaga. Yeah, mm. it, didn't, uh, it, it wasn't overnight, it took some time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see, and so um, of course you have your um, your you have your family's full support on all of these projects that you're doing because I'm sure you're a very busy mom, and I'm sure they're also clamoring for your time, indi ba? Yeah, the, it is. Uh, uh, I think this is one of the things that we should really uh, highlight then, because um, nothing really is is uh, parang uh, easy flowing when it comes to mga ganito. It's part now of the balancing act. For sure, there are struggles, like many people who balance uh, different roles. Uh, kailangan talaga ng discipline and really the proper scheduling. Like in my case, kasi napakaraming binabalance. And I must admit, like not in the beginning, hindi talaga. Ano, there, there was that kind of friction. Kasi syempre, mm-hmm. yung asawa ko, you know, asking for, for yung time din. So mm-hmm. I had to really fine-tune yung schedule, be very disciplined mm-hmm. about the routine, and so I started to adapt yung really very early morning type of lifestyle wherein mm-hmm. I don't, uh, I, I use my own time to work on my platforms, businesses, and then pag gising na sila, family time na din, syempre I'm there for them. So same din sa pag sa bahay. So there, there's, it's very, uh, yung kumbaga very disciplined yung, yung scheduling para lahat ng aspeto, you're mm-hmm. still able to, to perform your roles. Mm-hmm. So as a mother, as a doctor, as someone who's growing this online mm-hmm. presence, as a businesswoman, then, so mga ganun, even as a friend too, right? So mm-hmm. uh, my learning curve then, it mm-hmm. wasn't easy. And I'm still not in that most, yung pinaka-optimized, but I would say that I'm quite happy dun sa naging ano na, trajectory kung paano ko siya naayos. For me to feel na, yeah, th- this is working. Mm-hmm. So what is, um, what, is your, on, what is on your wish list? for the next, I don't know, for the next five years for Filipino Success Movement and for um, Iris Radev MD and all the other projects that you have um, in your pocket? I think it's really just yung adika in mga platform. So the platforms, all of them are connected to yung tinatawag kong core values ko, the things that are important to me, the principles and belief systems that I hold mm-hmm. uh, to be quite uh, importante sa akin. And yung kanyang ano talaga yung yung main core values ko are harmony mm-hmm. uh, living purpose like purpose driven mm-hmm. living meaningful living meaningful success mm-hmm. uh, abundance so yun yung adika inong bawat platform palaganapin yung ganun din na concept wherein people mm-hmm. are experiencing meaningful success yung hindi lang ba you know may narating silang isang stage but at the detriment ng iba pang aspects ng buhay nila so when i see the people adapting this kind of yung, yung, yung concept na yon, living it out and really experiencing life in the most optimized state, mm-hmm. then yun, yun, yun talaga yung goal ko. So the more mga tao na magkaroon ng ganong klase na they can say, you know, for sure na, oh yeah, this is the life that I've really always dreamt about. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang, you know, in the financial aspect, for right. example, but really holistically. So that, that's really my goal mm-hmm. na ipakalat mm-hmm. yun. Yeah. And of course, with uh, the growing Filipino population in uh, the Lower Mainland and in other parts of, uh, of BC, um, it's very important that we reach out to them, hindi ba? Oh yeah, for sure. Yes. Oh, especially if you're also a, new, a newly landed immigrant, there's so many things that you are worried about. At saka yung inaalala mo ay yung mga naiwan mo rin sa Pilipinas. It's, I think it's very important that we're able to balance everything. 
Yes, it's so critically important. Tama yung sinabi mo, Rosette, about seeking yung ganong klaseng connections, yung, yung balance, but at the same time as well, you know, especially pag bago ka lang, really trying to look at all the resources that are available to you. Kasi marami din talagang may itutulong sa yung pakikipag-connect sa kapwa. So you learn about, oh, ganito pala yan. Teach you to navigate the system yeah. somewhat. Like, I look back on my journey, napakarami nakatulong sa akin nung bago pa lang ako dito, and I've always yeah. felt grateful. Mm-hmm. And so each of us na bago dito should utilize those. Like for example, you and I, Rosette, we belong dito sa ating association, Alumni Association and UP. So yes. that's a great uh, way to connect with people na you know you can really identify with and mm-hmm. it will help you sa, sa journey mo as, as a new um, immigrant dito sa BC. But also uh, yung mga, for example, sa atin, you know, there, there are those yung mga mental stimulation na kailangan natin, nakukuha natin yeah. doon yung camaraderie, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I think very important yung connecting. Yeah. I think one of the things that really hinder us as Filipinos is kasi I think we are by nature mahiyain, ano? And and uh, one of the things that we don't want to do is to bother people with our own concerns and all that. So, I think that's what's holding a lot of people back. Um, but they don't realize na yung mga nandito na, yung matagal na dito, they're always willing to help out. And that's one of the things that I also experienced as a newly landed immigrant so many years ago. Now, everybody was really willing to help. And and I hope that, you know, with your projects, um, our kababayans will realize na mga, ang mga makang kababayan natin napaka, ano talaga, ex, we're, they're really excited to help those who come in, di ba? Oh yeah, for sure. Kasi yun nga, eh, like one of the taglines of our platform actually is Hatak Pataas. So it's a hashtag, Hatak Pataas. So what that means is, kasi kilala, very, very, uh, very uh, famous sa ating mga Pilipinos yung sabi crab mentality, yeah. right? So ito naman is the exact opposite. So Hatak Pataas, like if there are certain, one of the things that I do in my platform is introduce other uh, people, very talented people sa mga broadcasts and ganun, um, exposing yung kanilang mga talents, yung kanilang offerings. Mm-hmm. So the rest of the world knows as my platform is growing, also giving uh, these other like talented, uh, very, you know, like um, parang noteworthy individuals too in their own fields na magkaroon ng chance na makilala at yung kanilang services and advocacies ay mapalaganap din. So that, you know, that, that hatak pataas concept is, is something that I really value. Yeah. And and I really like that when I read that in your in in your platform. I said, "Wow, it's you know, it's something so different because we're always thinking about crab mentality and people bringing everybody down whereas ikaw naman ang 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 adhikain mo para sa ating mga kababayan is to bring people up." Diba? And alam mo, marami sa ating mga nasa Filipino community na ganun din ang adhikain nila para sa mga kababayan to really help bring everybody up. So again, it's it's really wonderful to to um, to know that there's Filipino success movement and um, all your other projects that will help our kababayans. So do you have any um, message, any message for our televiewers? I, I would just say that you have to really... Uh, become aware. Become aware. Because awareness is the first step. Become aware na yung potential mo has to be, you have this potential to be whoever you want to be, to actually actualize, actually actualize. Yung dream mo, simula nung pagkabata mo, many times yung ating talaga mga deepest desires uh, get manifested sa ating childhood and something happens along the way and we give up on those dreams. Mm-hmm. So, yung potential na yan is always there. Many times, it will be a different way kung paano ma-wake up yung potential na yun. Maybe you'll hear a phrase, a word, you'll meet someone, whatever way it is, but you have to realize na nandyan siya. You have to become aware of that and to really like explore that para you can optimize your your life according to that potential na meron ka. Kasi if you just kind of like go with the flow and then tanggapin mo na, ah, ganito lang, ganito lang. That, that's not really uh, being true dun sa binigay sa yung gift. Uh, lahat tayo binigyan ng gift na yun eh. So when we, when I, when I talk about faith as well, kasi tayo mga Filipinos are very spiritual. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about faith, it also is connecting with that gift. How are you using yung gift na binigay sa'yo ng creator? Kasi kung mahal mo siya, 
mm-hmm. ang ating Diyos, ang ating Creator, then you will make the most of that gift kasi binigay niya yun sa'yo. So I think that that's mainly my, ano, yung message ko sa mga kababayan natin. Become aware of that potential and live up to that potential. Wonderful. Thank you so much, um, Iris. You're such an inspiration to many in our community. You know, you know the, the hard work that you also do for the Alumni Association of, of UP um, and all of the other projects that you have at hand, plus raising a family. It's something that's, you know, it's something that only a few people, you know, a lot of people dream about how to juggle all of these things. Pero um, you've, you've given us some tips this, af- uh, this afternoon and you've given us a lot of advice on how that is, uh, that, that can be possible in our lives. So thank you so much again, Iris, and God bless you for all your uh, endeavors and your projects. God bless then, Rosette. And again, it is a privilege to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned po sa channel na ito for more videos on meaningful success, meaningful, and healthy living. Follow us po sa Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, at iba pang social media channels. Check out our website din po. Sabay-sabay po tayong mag-level up para sa masaya, masagana, at makabuluhang pamumuhay. Dahil ang ikauunlad po ng isang bansa ay nagsisimula sa mamamayan nito. Ito ay nagsisimula sa ating sarili. Mabuhay po tayo, mga Pilipino. Salamat po kami sa aming mga sponsors, ang 99 Cents and Up Store sa Richmond, ang Kabalen Sweets Restaurant and Catering sa New Westminster, at ang 88 Supermarket na may two branches sa Killarney Market at sa Victoria Drive. Maraming maraming salamat po. At dito na naman nagtatapos ang balita namin para sa linggong ito. Kung kayo may mga komento, mga issue o balitang nice nung ibahagi sa aming programa, ang TNC ay bukas para sa inyong lahat. Mag-email lamang po sa balitangvancouver at gmail.com o tumawag sa 604-588-6397. Mula dito sa Surrey, ako po si Rosette Korea At ito, ang Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver. For Filipino and other products from Asia as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver.